the shop today. We're in the wood shop and we're working on uh, the wooden chairs that I had spoke about a week or two ago. Um, I spent some time last weekend making this jig for the chair sides. That's all done and working. It's, it's a very tedious, uh, time consuming, trial and error process trying to figure out uh, where the the uh, stops should go in the jig so that the wood will all stay together in the right position. So that one is finally done. It took, it took many hours, uh, but now I can cut quickly, assemble quickly, nail it together quickly, and make what will likely be five chairs using that. Uh, but today I need to set up uh, for the chair back, and I didn't make a jig uh, to, to actually assemble the chair back. So I'm going to be doing a similar operation where I set up the blocks where the pieces can go inside and I'll use you know stop blocks like this so that the 2x4s can come together and they can be nailed from the outside all that stuff so that's what's going to happen today and I'll uh, set up the camera so you can kind of watch a, a quick uh, the rabbit mode playback of how I build this template and reset the camera
So there uh, gives you an idea of, of what it takes to make a, a jig with stops. Um, I notice I'll have a little difficulty getting that out once I'm done, so I may have to adjust these just a little bit. Uh, but this will get the, the framing set up correctly for the chair backs. And I'll be doing five of these, so it just saves a lot of time down, down the line. Now the, uh, the backs of the chairs have a curve to them, which I will cut with my jigsaw. I don't have a big jigsaw, unfortunately. And I gotta make, I think I gotta make 10 of those, so. Got a lot of cutting to do, so I'm gonna start uh, cutting, and then uh, once I get all the cuts done, then I'll come back and I'll record the assembly. Okay, so um, it's been a long day, did a lot of cutting. Got uh, the wood all uh, figured out and cut up and ready to go. And the last step we're doing here, well, second to last step, is cutting the notch for the front leg uh, that will be the front part of the chair. And so the uh, easiest way to do that is, is put it on a saw table like this, and you just run it up over the blade to cut the front of, of slots, and then when you're done, you go and forth and you clear it out, and that's how you make a slot like that's the easiest way to do. Uh, let me uh, adjust the camera for a tighter shot so you can see the work, and I'll go from there. So here are finally, this is the last step uh, before assembly, and this is um, going to be the, the back horizontal braces 
and then the slats will be attached on this face to form a, a nice curved uh, surface for your back. Otherwise, it's really uncomfortable if you don't have something like this. Uh, and, and the way I do it, honestly, is I just pivot on my elbow. That ends up being a good curve and it's very comfortable and that's what I did on the, my first prototype. And so, and so that's all I do. I just hold the, the wood, do a little, little test arc, see if it's going to fit and get my blue sharpie. And then just scribe up the line. It doesn't have to be really precise. It's a, it's a garden chair, right? So it's not... It's not going to be a fine piece of furniture in your house. So, so you can get away with a little bit. Of, uh, the line is kind of a, just a guideline, just to kind of give you a feel for it. In fact, here, this, the piece I'm using, it's got some, some bits missing. It's, it's a scrap. Unfortunately, I'm cutting all that away. Yes, I'm making five chairs. Five chairs. Five chairs. Big family. Look at this side. Let's go right here. Good. Oh, this has got a knot in it. Let's we'll cut the knot out. Like that, and uh, let me uh, set up uh, some clamps and my uh, jigsaw, and I'll show you how to cut the the back braces. Okay, so here we all set. And and when I did this last time, the easiest way to cut these was to clamp them to my bench. You know, I do have a wood vise uh, that's down there, but um, there's no way to really hold it well and cut it easily um, with the jigsaw, the reciprocating saw. So uh, what I did last time is I just clamped it on the back edge. It doesn't have to be super secure because the wood is very soft and the blade is very sharp. It'll cut very fast. Um, and then of course I have to cut uh, 20 of these. <laughs> it's a lot. Anyway, so um, I'm still quick cut so you can get an example of how it goes. There you go. So you get a nice curve, and it and it you know it kind of fits to the back of a human, and then and of course put a slots on there after that. So I'm gonna cut through the rest of these, and then um, we'll see if we can set up and and uh, assemble a few of these chairs. Uh, the Swiss be a rainstorm coming uh, this afternoon, so we might have to shut down after a while. Okay, so uh, we just did one complete assembly, and it went fantastic. And so now I'm going to. Do, uh, now the, the jig is clear and I'm going to go get a full set of woods and uh, load up and nail up and just to show you the, how the final process goes. Very exciting. laid out so the inside dimension is facing up so this one has some blemishes so I'll put that one face up so I won't show later so there's the back legs let's see this one uh, is the 20 and 3 quarters oh here here's the front leg goes along that and this 20 and 3 quarters goes right there there's another one goes over here so that lines up those guys Good. Little bits here. 
sides on the inside. Uh, one thing I, I found out it was easier to put the, I've got all my cut backs all ready to go, it was easier to put however in this way. that nothing's going to move while you assemble. That's a big deal. For any who ever worked in aerospace in a lot of time. And I'm looking at this and I don't like this. This one's got some blemish, but the top looks better. Here, this looks better. I'll put this on the top. So this will be the top of the chair. start nailing. Uh, if you're listening on your headphones, you'll want to take your headphones off because this nailer is plenty loud. There we go. You can hear it echoing off the other houses down the street. say to always stagger your nails so you're not on the same grain either on the upper board or the lower board. It's a big deal. I'm using two and three eighths by the way collated nails so they go uh, all the way through one and, and partly through the other and have no chance of coming off the other side. one's going to be the front of the chair. It's all going to get painted, but it depends on oh, the regularity of the air. I missed a little bit of 
something. It's okay. Nice tight fit. <laughs> Hold the chair together really well, and then um, and then lifting it out of the jig comes out as a single unit. Yeah, comes out real nice. And then just flip it over. This was what I figured out the first time. Set it in the front notch. Because the back strap is just a staple. Hold it in place long enough. You can't see, sorry, but there's a heavy uh, jig by now with all the lumber on it. Just make sure it's kind of square to the jig. Move it up. Put three on that part. And likewise, last part here. Was, um, you want it to be up against the bottom, the seat bottom, which is what this part is, because so, that's a support. And then I'm making it sure it's straight up and down relative to the ground, so it's square to the bottom of the feet. So square to the bottom of the feet here. We're going to be on the top. Just kind of go in place. Now I can slip it out. And flip it over the other way. And this on camera up here? Very. Uh, here, I'll lay it down so you can see. So, this is the other side. And visible. So, here's the, the back strap. It's right here. Is that on camera? Very. It's gonna, I'm lining this corner up with the back, with this back leg. And that's, that's what I'm shooting for. Okay. So there's the completed chair frame. One of the stylistic variations, this is a request by my wife, was uh, this part of the chair, it's just, you know, the inside corner, and this is where the seat will be. She's concerned this might be uncomfortable to sit against. So on all the chairs, we're sanding down this inside corner on both sides, just to make it a little more pleasant to sit up against. And the easiest way to do that is grab a belt sander. You don't have one. They're very inexpensive, and uh, it kind of goes like that. You won't be jabbing your thigh when this down too much. And this is another uh, consideration we're uh, going to put on one by six boards, which is actually uh, three quarter inch by five and a half. And I've cut these down to be uh, 26 inches, so they'll fit right right on the armrest and stick out three inches. But of course, these corners can be a little uncomfortable. They'll be painted later, but still. Uh, so we're gonna just sand off just this leading edge, just to make it a little bit more pleasant. Best tool, belt set. Okay, so um, finished uh, three chairs and then the battery died, 
somewhere in the middle of all that and uh, so could not uh, put up my final uh, comments and uh, conclusions but uh, the result of the whole process is uh, the chairs went together very well uh, I posted some pictures on my Facebook account a lot of positive comments and uh, I'll be finishing the video edit uh, here in just a little bit so you can get it up and so people can see the process I'm already getting some responses of people who want to be able to uh, build these chairs and uh, so, um, or even just buy them outright. I uh, appreciate that. Uh, I think we're more inclined to have people come and build the chairs with us. Sorry, we banged the wind chime. And um, participate um, rather than just have us become a, a furniture factory. I don't really want to do that. Um, one other thought where instead of uh, like the, 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 the bench that we did before, we used uh, one by uh, one by one and a half. Slats. He's three quarter inch by inch and a half slats. And place these all along the back and then across the seat bottoms. And it's okay, but it's not as comfortable as I as I was hoping. And so this time we're going to use some nylon uh, webbing, and we're going to staple nylon webbing to the backs and to the seat bottom, and um, and construct the chair that way just to make it a little. Better. So anyway, thank you so much for watching the video. Please like and share the video with anyone who you might think might be interested in, in learning how to make these kind of chairs. And I'll be trying to work on a, a measured drawing uh, for the jigs so that you guys can be able to make your own jig anywhere in the world and make chairs just like this. Um, and then please make sure to subscribe to the channel. We have 22 subscribers now, thank you very much. It's not bad, we've only been doing this for two weeks, so we've got 22 subscribers after two weeks. And I'll talk to you guys all very soon. Thank you very much.